All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that desk. Where the you think talking's cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. The coroner says it's going to take at least a week to get an ID. I saved the whole year for that car. That's that cop. And he still confessed. Seems like a decent guy. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for talking. It'll bump like a fly to me. Put him down on my back. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. How you do that? I'll give him something better. Car 11 King responding, go ahead. Car 11 King, 211 in progress. Now remember, you call the cops and I'll hunt you down. Got me? Too late, asshole. God damn it! Into his wheel arches. Come on. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out.
Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Thick as a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Phelps? You should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Madison has life insurance. We can notify next of kin.
What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to break before the impact. knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and... Things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room.
Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. So this is why everybody comes to Ray's. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Real happiness is when you marry a girl for love and you find out later she's got money. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. 
Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Sorry, Phelps, do you mind if I get on with this? Just when I think I've seen it all. In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in war after their buddies got there. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows?
This is 11K. We'll handle the 459. Roger, 11K. Your 459 is at 829 South Olive Street at Silman's Jewelry Store. 11K, code 2. Why not? You got a good track record with jewelry. You got that safe open yet, or what? Your girlfriend is looking over my shoulder again. I swear she says one more word. Honey, it's best if you let him work. Floyd, you better hurry up. That was a hell of a crash we made getting in. LAPD, hands up, all of you. Jesus, Jake, Morty, come and blast this cop. They're upstairs. Upstairs. This wasn't my idea, mister. You keep an eye on the girl. <laughs> Your move, mister. Come get me. Give it up, LAPD! Damn it. Uh, hey. LAPD, out of the car, lady.
vicinity. See the security guard of 459 there now at 536 South Figueroa. Get it to code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. Car 11K, see the security guard of 459 there now. 536 South Figueroa Street at Holsher's Textiles. Four male suspects believe still in the building. Code 2. Where have you been? Four punks been helping themselves to the suits. Oswald Jacobs? You work here? Goddamn right I do. I've been watching the place for ten years, waiting for something like this. Calm down. Show us to the suspects. You... you go first. How about I back you up? Be right behind you, Phelps. Car 11K. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four here, but I'll need an ambulance at 536 South Figueroa Street, Holcher's Textiles. Also notify a supervisor and the coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance in coroner, and I'll notify your supervisor. All units 11K advises code 4 on the shooting at Holscher's Textiles. The suspects are down. Code 4.
That's son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Don't let that asshole get away. Go on, get after it! Hold it right there, Shelton! Stop or I will shoot! That was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? <laughs> 